Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. Got a beer here from the great Ginger Yeti and a beer a day with TK from the Ohio area. Wearing my One Flight Down shirt from Winnipeg, baby. The exotic Winnipeg. Love it. Gonna have to get up there. So, we have one from Masthead Brewing Company here from Cleveland, Ohio. This is Single Origin Coffee Stout. Okay, and they are from uh, downtown Cleveland, just right there, downtown Cleveland. 6.9 alcohol by volume, and I believe this is a coffee stout. We have partnered with our friend Six Shooter Cap Coffee to bring you this mashup between our two favorite beverages. A lightly roasted Ethiopian, Ethiopian whatever this word is, Yiji. Uh, coffee beans used in this beer brings flavor and aromas of berry and cocoa, cacao, uh, that pair perfectly with the roasty toasty notes of a stout that usually bring uh, cocoa and cacao as well. Look at that. And berry, honestly, if you use an English ale yeast, you're going to get a slight berry flavor anyway. So yes, they do, coffee and stouts do complement themselves quite well has to be said as long as you don't use a roast that just comes off like skunk you know like cra crazy crazy so let's do it all right so let's do this let's get the label out folks label out all right here we go there it is masthead TK definitely said they are cool and very, very good brews, and I'm looking forward to it. And I got cat hair all over me now since this cat jumped on me, and I decided to go, instead of going like, no, I went, all right, fine. Power's out. I mean, what else do you do? You got, you got a kitten? Play with a kitten. You know, there it is. It des de this definitely has a a strong char, strong char roast. It definitely has that kind of um, green earthiness coming through this in the coffee. Not saying the coffee was green; it's definitely roasted, but it's got this kind of like herbal tonality, mustiness, and roast mixed together. Sometimes when you get a firm roast, sometimes it smells a little. Uh, you know you're going to get a great coffee, but the terminology might not sound good. <laughs> Let's just say that. We'll leave it there. So it's a little bit of a, a, a very floral, air, aromatic nose that is uh, a little harsher on the, on the, on the descriptors. But uh, I've smelled it before. I've smelled it in this. And usually when I get that more of a robust, earthy, uh, char... Um, tonality where you're you, oh man that's a little that's a little uh i don't even know how to describe it but it is definitely a, a fermented smell and i don't know how to, i can't i can't even, a dog shit basically like you get some fucking coffees that are almost have a hint of like ooh, that smells like almost dog shit or whatever you know what i mean uh, it's hard to describe but i have mentioned it people know i know what you're talking about uh but they're usually pretty goddamn good coffees like that kind of skunk, almost the uh, dog shit aroma. I know that's the worst. These are the worst tasting notes in a beer review ever. Well, fuck it. Let's keep going. People, when I've said that before, people know what I'm talking about. They go, oh, yes, no, I've got that in coffee. I got this. I got this. And they're usually amazing coffee. So so cheers to Six Shooter right now because I'm getting the, the nuance of I'm going to have an amazing coffee experience. So cheers to you. So, right off the bat, a bit thin, very thin. This beer is on the on the on almost the lighter side of a medium body. I want this kicked up a little bit for sure. I want a nice uh, thick creaminess to this beer um, to give you that kind of cafe mocha goodness. Yeah, the body definitely needs to get amped up. What I'm getting though is I'm getting a nice fresh roast nice beautiful char 
Definitely getting the cacao as they spoke of too. I'm getting a little bit of a, a sweet, uh, a bittersweet chocolate, a little bit of a milk chocolate as well, a little bit of a dark chocolate. Earthy pepperness wafting through the back of the palate, which is really nice. Nice soft, smoky char. A little bit of uh, almost a walnut husk characteristic from that char. Those beans kind of coming into play. Nice. Definitely got that earthiness. If I didn't know... What was going on here, I would definitely say there would be like a slight berry character. I would go more on the longer lines of that kind of like soft molasses where you get a hint of a raisin, just a touch of a raisin in the background, bit of a, a black cherry vibe. I wouldn't go full berries like, you know, like blueberries or anything like that, but like a like a like a black currant, a little bit of a note of a black currant in the background, something like that. It's definitely not the body I would like, but the flavors are very, very nice. Soft, uh, soft uh, carbonation here, keeping the beer lively, not over carbonated at all. Helps it move, it move the flavors around your palate. A little bit of oiliness, which is nice too. 1216 Superior Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio. All right, nice. It's a nice beer. All right. Oh, pretty good flavors overall. I mean, I like the fact that I like the coffee flavors that are coming through it. I think they do mingle well with the with the stout flavors as to be expected. That's pretty nice. I would like a little bit uh, a creamier body, a little bit more umped up, but overall, a 8.5. Nice little beer. All right. The next one, if they make it 16.9, be even better. Uh huh. Anyway, this has been Paul for Pay Beer News. Thanks again, got. Thanks again, guys. Cheers. Mm. Watch that finger. Here it comes. Wah!